Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Melissa. Today we are going to be making Grillo pizza. To start off, I'm going to be cleaning up my pork shoulder and just making sure it's clean with some lime vinegar and then just cutting it up in pieces. Once I'm done with the cutting, I'm going to boil some hot water and toss it in the pork. And you're just going to let that sit for about a couple minutes, about um, maybe five, ten minutes. Then when you're done, you're going to transfer the pork into a pot. And you're just going to add in some ippies. If you guys would like a video of how to make ippies, let me know. I will post it. Okay. After adding ippies, you're going to be adding... I added some spicy sauce, which is made from blended hot peppers, and it's just really giving it a kick. Then you're going to add some onion powder, garlic powder, um, some salt, um, some, some adobo. Um, basically, for this part, you could season it how you want to. Um, to get it to your perfect taste. Like for me, I did not have any accurate measurement. I just went how my heart said to go. So do with that with what you please. Once you're done adding all those seasonings, just go ahead and mix it up just to make sure that every piece of pork has a coating of the marinade. Once you're done mixing, go ahead and put your pork on the on the stove and then just cook it on a medium heat until you hear some bubbling. After moving the pork over, make sure you clean up your station. Clean it up with some bleach just so that way there's no cross-contamination because we were just dealing with some uncooked meat. So make sure you get that all cleaned up to start the next process. Next, you're going to pull out your pizza dough and just let it sit for a little bit. This is how your pork is supposed to look while it is on the stove top. As you can see, it's boiling. Turn it off and just let it sit for a moment, okay? Then once you've let it cool down a little bit, you're going to transfer it into your air fryer or you could fry it if you would like. 
Once the dough got to room temperature, I pulled it out and spread some flour on the countertop and just began rolling it out. This process was probably the most difficult process just because I couldn't keep it in a circle shape. So it was just being oval all over the place. Once that was done, I transferred over the dough to a oiled surface, um, the oiled pan. So that way I could start assembling my pizza. To make my sauce, I'm using pizza sauce and then about two scoops of the marinade that the chicken was sitting in that we boiled it in just to make sure I add the flavor of the griot that we are cooking. Trust me, this process, will, this step right here will make the most difference. It tastes amazing. So then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna mix it and then I'm gonna taste it just to make sure it is the flavor that I like. But then again, remember your flavors might be different. Once it's to your liking, go ahead and spread it all over your pizza dough. Don't do like me. I was trying to be fancy with the baser, but I decided to change it and get Once you have added enough sauce to your liking, go ahead and add in your mozzarella cheese and just make sure it's like a nice even coat and not just in one area. After adding the cheese, it's time to move on to our toppings. I had some red onions, some orange pep yellow peppers, some red peppers, onions, and then I had my grill. You just see, I'm just trying to make sure everywhere had the same amount of ingredients. I'm just moving it around and just trying to equally distribute it. So that way, once I cut a slice, it's an even amount of everything on it.
Once you're done assembling your pizza, go ahead and grab some butter and some parsley. And I just spread it around the crust of my pizza just to make it nice and golden. Put the pizza in the preheated oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is how it came out. Look at that beautiful grill pizza. It was so nice and delicious. Serve it with some pickles and you're good.